Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and to all of our non-binary friends. And welcome to this, a brand new day. And remember, no matter who you are, you are valid. Thumbs up for that. Hokey smokes. I'm going to start off with this, and, and it's going to blend through and be the only thing I talk about. Yesterday, about 4 o'clock, I went to my storage unit to try and dig out my PlayStation 1, my PlayStation 2. I need to dig out my other things to see if they still work as well, like my OG Xbox. I have a modified Xbox, and I don't have a 360 anymore, so all my 360 games are pointless. Uh, life is life. So, I went and I got the machines. Now, I don't have a ton of space. And I have these little roller things that go underneath my bed. They went and gave them out. They're little plastic boxes with wheels, you know, and the lids flip up and you put your clothing and stuff inside or uh, anything else is too heavy. And then you just slide it under the bed. I don't have a ton of room. My PlayStation 1 is on one of those. My PlayStation 2 is on the other one. So they're not really available for me to drag out. But I dragged them here. I hooked them up to all the things, and last night my PlayStation 1 worked. I forgot to bring a controller back home. But I went there at 4 o'clock, and when I came out of the storage unit, it was dark, which was a surprise to me because I was watching the sun as I was walking to the unit, and effectively, you know, the sun was like here. It wasn't like about the set and it wasn't two o'clock but you know it was three o'clock it's, it's right about here it was here-ish not bad you know and then when I came out gone dark <laughs> so I was in there quite some time but I came back with stuff and then I went there again today and I dragged out the proper things so I could test it out and I brought my PlayStation 2 and they both work both work great. I played uh, a game, Akuji the Heartless. I've mentioned this one before. I said, oh, I've got the, you're going to play Akuji the Heartless, and who would want to play it these days? Really? Who would want to play this? The thing is, you use one joystick to control it. One stick. The left stick. You don't use the right one. So if you want to look around, you have to use the turn left and turn right of R1 and L, yeah, R1, L1, because that's my left, and R1, because that's my right. I can tell the two apart. That is annoying beyond words. And a lot of earlier games are like that. And past that, I mean, you know, the story of Akuji the Heartless is you're some sort of native from some sort of nameless tribe, your heart was cut out, uh, there's a woman you're trying to rescue, your brother was murdered, and so you're going through and it's a collect-a-thon as you're traveling through like the spirit realm. It's dumb, but it's 1998, so I was playing it. I keep trying to not be so far away and down like this, so my apology. Other things that I did get, I'm going to first talk about this. Because until I dug out all this stuff, I forgot about this. My mother, just before she died, now I don't mean seconds or anything like that, like within the last year or two years before she died at age 74, all of a sudden, she gave me a movie. Now when I was a kid, Disney came out with a movie that they have never, ever, ever ever brought back out of the vault and they're never going to bring out of the vault it is a movie there's a lot of songs that you may have heard like zippity doo dah if you've ever heard zippity doo dah zippity a it's from the movie song of the south you can paraphrase song of the south as uh, why well it was about black people back in the time when they were enslaved and how living on plantations and being a slave wasn't that bad. So they have kept that in the vault. My parents, my mother, 
they managed to get a copy, Song of the South. As they say, here comes the zippity doo da show. Now this is not a DVD that's a straight DVD. Of course they didn't make DVDs back then. It is a DVR. I have had Apple, Apple? Ample opportunity to pop this into various machines. I have, where the hell did I put it? Because a lot of things don't come with CD drives anymore. I have, or DVD, a USB thing which for this machine is terrible. It does not have USB 3.0. I'm not even sure it has USB 2.0. Everything is slow. If it comes down to a USB connection, it's horrific. This will play movies. It's rough. I fought hard to make it play Akuji the Heartless. It struggled to be fast enough to give the information to the emulator to play it on my computer. Ugh. But still, I can watch movies. And I don't know. I just don't know. But past that, I also talked about how there is the P PlayStation 2 emulator, PCXX2, and I was playing the game Dark Alliance on it. Said I owned it. <laughs> Dark Alliance 2 for the PlayStation 2. Yes, for this one, I have a downloaded ISO. Downloaded because I own it. I don't not pirate because of ethical and moral stuff. It's largely got to do with uh, security fears because I don't know what's in anything I can download and people that pack these things full of nasty things are smarter than I am when they pack them on. So a lot of the times I just don't want to take the risk. But some things yeah, but at the same time, the rest of the things I wanted to show you, I keep this one in the cardboard box because I am still proud of this one. The only reason I actually kind of like Nintendo, the first game, first game, first system, is because it has Dragon Warrior on it, like one through four or five, six. No, one through four, five and six came out on the SNES maybe even seven. This one came out on, as you can see, and then it went to uh, handhelds like the Switch. But still, good game. Weird. Weird game. I mean, every 12 steps is a random encounter. But they don't have random monsters. If you're going out there, you may come across something like a bunch of bells evil bells. And I don't mean like plant things. There are bells that you would grab the handle and go clang, 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 clang. Uh, like that. Except nasty, we're angry at you eyeballs on the front of them. They don't look awful. You know, they're done all in a consistent style, so it fits the world in that fashion, but it's still they're just bells. So it's filled with goofy stuff like that. This one now, I don't have the original box, but I really like the Kingsfield series. Which is why, even though I don't have the box, I still have the manual in the game for Kingsfield the Ancient City. I played this a lot, but I've never gotten all the way or even anywhere near all the way through it. If you've played any of the From Software's games. This is where their whole thing started. Well, not this one, but the Kingsfield series. And this one's goofy, but I like it. I brought the other case here. I don't know where I put it. I also have a Scarface. So this is the Godfather. 
and then I've got Scarface. I like the movie Scarface. I it came out back when I was like 20 years old. Love the movie Scarface. The game Scarface kind of invalidates the entire movie because at the end you live through the end of the movie, which you don't in the movie. But you live through it and you start rebuilding your empire. It's fun. But you're starting from scratch and a complete change of heart and you're almost a good person now except you're still trying to build a drug empire so thumbs up and there's two games in this series this is one of those early ones that started the it doesn't have a health bar and you don't need to grab uh, healing items because when you're hurt you just stop and you can tell you're hurt because you start moving slower and you got blood smears all over your back. You stop your character. He leans against the wall and just goes, oh, just rocking back and forth. And in about five, six, seven seconds, the blood smears are gone and he's perfectly fine. So that's where that all started. But still, good game. There's a second one that I've never really played all that well. Now I'm going to show you some PlayStation 1 games. This one, I like Monster Rancher. This is the very first one. The case is all a mess. The weird and goofy thing about the game Monster Rancher is when you're playing it, you can open up your PlayStation, pop in another CD, and if you're at the right, you have to go to an altar in the game, and then you go through the, I want to find out what monsters are hiding and say this game. So you boot up this game and you go to the altar and then you pop in this disc. And then based on the information here, it'll come up with a, not a unique monster, but it'll come up with a combination of what monsters from the game Monster Rancher would be on this from the data that's on it. Which is a different monster from that would come on the Crash Bandicoot disc. So you can go through with your CD collection and come up with a whole bunch of absolutely unique monster types. Thumbs up. But past that, it's just a monster collecting, monster arena fighting. You don't have to go out on expeditions and, and capture monsters, though you can. But the idea is you're trying to get your monster ready to go to the arena to fight against other monsters and then hopefully win. And you want to go through all of the things to be the best monster rancher. It's a fun game. If you like the silly stuff like that. This one, of course, Siphon Filter. Siphon Filter came out with like three or four games. This one, if... Uh, there are a few games where the taser is your friend. That game is awesome. I have done just taser-only runs. I've never beaten the game, but... The taser is good, because when you zap someone with it, of course, they stop. They don't move. They're being shocked. But you keep frying them. You keep that on them long enough. They burst into flames, and their burning corpse falls to the ground. It's horrific, especially since they're shaking and going, and then burst into flames and die. It's very brutal. Crash Bandicoot, of course, the original Crash. They came out with Crash for like PlayStation 4, but they munged up the hitboxes. So I guess you need to play the original. And I have all three of the PlayStation Duke Nukem games. Two of them, there's a Time to Kill, and I can't remember what the other one is, but you're traveling through time trying to rescue the babes. So there you go. This one, who knew Quake 2 for the PlayStation 1? I tried it emulation some time ago. The controls are weird, and I don't know that you can change them. But I just did that on emulation, and I don't know. So I'm going to boot up the original, and we're going to see how that works. Or I am. I mean, I'd like to record it, but I don't know. My, The laptop is good. 
but the laptop is old. It was hardware made for Windows 8.1, so they made the hardware and designed the hardware and did all that back when people were using Windows 7. Nice piece of hardware. Little out of time. And then, of course, Medieval 2. Now, somewhere I think I have Medieval... Oh, just Medieval. I thought that was a 2 by looking at the reflection. Yeah, I have this and I've never played it all that far or well, so I need to do that too. This is like maybe half of the PlayStation games I have left. Oh, no. This has only been a, a bare fraction of the PlayStation 1 games. They have this for the computer? I can't remember what this is like. It's hard to control, fun, but you're struggling against the ancient controls to play it on PC. I don't know what it's like to play on here, but I imagine you're probably fighting the controller as well. This is a strategy game. So we get in. Enter an ancient world of bravery, mysticism, and romance. Yeah, it's a strategy game. So, strategy role-playing. So, yeah, I want to do that one as well. And this one is something that I am still... Lunar Star Story Complete. Now, I actually had to buy this a couple times back when my wife was still alive because the disc broke the first time I had it. So now I've got a couple versions of the game that work, but for a while I only had three of the four discs. But the neat thing about the whole game is the extras that they put in. Not only is it a manual, look at how thick that manual is. And I've got to take this out of here because I want to show this to you separate. But yeah, they show you how to play the game. Telling you everything, characters, all the controls, how what everything is. And it's got a nice little bookmarker thing. When's the last time a game came with anything, let alone this? Silver Star Story Complete 2 has a heavy amulet from the game that you can wear. It is solid. They spent time and money coming up with stuff to make sure that it was a special experience for people. The other thing that I had to buy more than one copy of it back when I had money because my wife was alive and we were both working, you get a nice cloth map. Not paper, it's cloth. That's cool. Thumbs up for that. So yeah. That's all the, well, no, that's some of the things that I have been getting from my storage unit. As stated, it took at least two hours I was in there yesterday. And not long today, because I just had to go there, pick up a PlayStation 1 controller, pick up the PlayStation 2 stuff, and I had accidentally grabbed the con power con cord for either the original Xbox or the Dreamcast. Because when I went to plug it into the back of the PlayStation, it went, just went clunk, clunk. Oh, too big. Not going to fit. <laughs> so I had to dig open my controller, my controller, all the boxes I have stuff in there, and look for another power cord. Luckily, as you can see, well, as you can tell, I heard one. Hell, as in I told you. Past that... Nothing much. I'm just going to bring these two things over because I have actually been breaking everything out and getting them ready to try and play the Elder Signs to see if I can figure that one out. It's got a lot of fiddly bits in it. The original base game. It's got a lot of fiddly bits. But not anywhere near as many fiddly bits as I thought. So I might be able to figure that one out and get it set up ready to play. This is unfortunately the wrong expansion to get. There are four expansions for the game. And the fandom has unanimously figured out that this is an advanced, experts only, you will die expansion. Out of the four, this is the one they recommend. 
that you really, really decide that you need it and want it before you buy it, because otherwise it's just crushing and debilitating. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. But I got it. And then, of course, I've been watching videos on cartographers again. I really want to play this one for the channel as well. It is simple, but I need to get out colored pencils for it. Because what you're trying to do is map out, map out the world. You, you draw cards and on your map you have to draw the world but it's all depending on the cards and you need you don't need colored pencils to draw those in but it's nicer because let's see i'm gonna get a random card that you would draw like here like if you you draw this one well this is the symbol that that you need to draw things like that and so you would draw that shape just five on here but because it's green you want to use green for that to distinguish it from plains or rivers you want to color around not color but put in landscapes around all four sides of as many mountains as you can and yeah there's a lot you're going to order spare pads from them and if you don't even want to play it that way if you want to play cartographers online you can play it online I think it's like happymeeple.com and you can play it on your desktop or you can download it for iOS or Apple and play it right there if you don't want to draw cards and draw and it's it's a fun game but it's nice and simple no combat even when you get an ambush and monsters show up they just take up space on your map and you need to put everything you got around the monsters you lose points for each side of the monster that is not covered so you just surround the monsters and with the terrain and you're good no combat just drawing and drawing and then it's fun and they have so many expansions for it because a lot of people like doing that I've played it online for way too long in a shot and this is without music or sound effects <laughs> at least when I was playing it so it's good definitely a thumbs up I'm 23 minutes into this and I just wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about things and instead I've spent all my time talking about the stuff that I dragged out of my storage unit thumbs up hey 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 I do have links to a GoFundMe if you can check that out down in the description I'm trying to save up money to get a computer that will actually play record games and edit video because this just doesn't if you could check that out that would be awesome thumbs up and thank you if you're a patreon patron you are beautiful and awesome thank you so very much without your help I would be hurting more than I am now but it's much much better to be here than here thank you so much if you've left me a comment I read as many as YouTube shows me I thumbs up and heart as many as I can and that's a good thing too so thumbs up and thank you you are appreciated if you've watched this far and hokey smokes 24 minutes into it, if you could type learn to into the comments to let me and the YouTube algorithm know that people occasionally do watch these things, that would be awesome. I know at least one person does. Hi, Jesse Koskinen. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is appreciated. Everybody, I mean, I'd love to mention everybody by name. But then I start to get too into it and, and, and with lots of things. But I'm going to try again. Read off the names of people that leave comments because I appreciate it. So thumbs up on that. I'm going to edit, render, upload. I have an appointment at 9.30 tomorrow morning. So videos are going to be late. 
I'm having a physical therapy thing for my knee because I injured my knee like 20 some odd years ago and it's kind of hinky jinky. So yay, gonna have physical therapy for that and then I got a set of more physical therapy for my heel because oh my god the bone spurs. Anyway though, thumbs up, thank you. You are appreciated, you are beautiful, you are awesome. Thank you so very much for watching if you have and if you haven't you'll never know. <laughs> So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that is indeed a very, very good thing. Isn't this thing freaky? It's a barrel. It's filled with liquid. That's a liquid. It's not air. And then, what is this? It's got a face growing out of its head. What on earth? is this thing it's freaky ah oh, i just don't know i just don't know